What's up guys? So are you getting ready to do your taxes or you just want to know how much money you made last year selling on eBay? Um, I'm going to jump into that video in just a second. I'm Rob with Flea Market Flipper. We've been doing this for over 20 years and absolutely love the flipping game and giving people tips and tricks on how to navigate their business. So let's dive in. The first thing you want to go to, and this is for eBay sales. The majority of what we sell is on eBay. Uh, so that's what I'm going to walk you through um, that, how to, how to get those numbers. So first thing you want to do is go to ebay.com. We're right here. I'm going to go to my eBay, click on that tab, and it'll bring up my eBay uh, right here. It'll show sales at the top. We want to click on this little arrow, and it will pull us into um, this screen right here. I want to see, you see where it says last 30 days, the sales. I actually want to go to last year. We're going to click on that. Uh, it's going to compare it to the prior year. Well, let's generate the report. Now it's generated. So you can see for us, uh, last year, our sales are up 61%, total of $54,000. Um, it gives you some cool, cool breakdowns um, through this, uh, this uh, back office program. Um, you can scroll through and see all the different things. We had 63 buyers uh, and a total of, uh, I guess, a couple of repeat buyers. Um, but 55 total buyers, I guess, is what the, uh, the number is. It shows you all the categories, how much sold in the categories, um, that kind of thing. So it's pretty cool. It's a pretty cool thing. But the, the really cool part about this is we can go and cr uh, print out a, if you scroll all the way to the right side of the, the, the screen, you'll see downloads. Uh, let's go ahead and do a listing sales report. It will take one second and it generates this for you. If you have Excel on your computer or other some other type of uh, program that it will allow it to put it in columns, um, <laughs> excuse me, um, that's really cool about this. So we do have Excel. It downloaded it. I'm going to go ahead and open this up. Now, this is the report that it generates. Really, really cool. It shows you, um, you want to see, these are, you can spread out columns if you want to see more. These are the items that we sold. It gives you the actual titles of the items. <coughs> excuse me. And then it gives you a whole bunch of different things, quantity sold, um, total sales, all that kind of stuff. So if you want to take this a step further, um, you can actually um, highlight this. If you do not want to pull out your, um, your calculator, you can highlight a column and then you can ask Excel to uh, total it up. So this is a really cool part. Once you highlight that whole column up here in the right-hand corner, make sure you're on the home tab. None of these other tabs, you wanna be on the home tab. Up in this right-hand side, it says auto sum, hit that. And it just gives you the total for all those in that column. Uh, really cool, you can use it for shipping or your total amount paid uh, to eBay. You can see final value fees, we can do that one as well. Um, highlight the whole thing. See how much we paid eBay last year, auto sum, and $4,978. Now, the other cool part about this is it's in a spreadsheet. Um, you can come in and once you have this, these are the numbers from eBay, you can actually go in and create your own columns for um, price of goods, how much we spent on each of these items. I can total that all up for my taxes. Um, I'll show you. I started doing mine actually here. Um, so I can make my column and show exactly what I paid for these items, uh, how much I sold them for total sales, um, taxes, all that kind of stuff. But the other portion on this is we want to know how much we paid for shipping. Now, if you go to the, the tab that shows shipping labels, all these labels right here and the other, uh, spreadsheet, this is where I've actually already added in my shipping, uh, because a lot of, well, not a lot, but some of the items we sell, we freight ship. Now that doesn't calculate into eBay. I actually have to go outside, um, create the label through the freight company, and then I have to pull back in my numbers of what I spent. Um, anything typically over $100, and I've already come and updated it. Anything over $100, we actually went freight shipping, and it shows zero on here. Um, you can see like this one, zero. This might have been a, uh, somebody who picked up an item, but um, typically if they show zero, um, I freight shipped them, and I have to bring that money in from my other records, which typically I have uh, emails that show how much I paid, the date that I paid for the freight shipment. Um, but everything over, typically over $100 is stuff that we freight ship. So the cool part about that is the same way you can actually highlight the whole thing um, and then have it total, total it up for you instead of having to pull out your calculator and, calculator and do that. Um, so we spent $5,500 on shipping last year. Um, you can see that we've already totaled that um, $49.78. That's what we actually spent on eBay final value fees. 
um, total profit. The other thing is we had to come in and add a couple of these items that we sold outside of eBay. We sold them locally. Um, an ice cream machine we sold for $8,500. Mower we sold for $7,200. And another mower for $5,500. So we have those in our records. We have a couple more things, a trailer and a couple other items to add into here. Um, and then we just do the same thing. Highlight them all, get the total. Uh, so right now our total is at $76,000 um, from... What's the difference between that total sales and item sales? So I think that is what eBay totally charged the buyer for taxes and stuff as well. These are our total prices that we actually made or we sold them for. So 71,181 um, is the total. So really cool program. It's cool that we can actually do this. Then I can actually print this whole thing out, use it for my documents. The coolest thing about this is you can alter whatever you need to. Um, we, like I said, we'll make one more column. We'll actually say in our records, we have exactly what we paid for every single item. Then we'll be able to total it up, um, how much we paid for each of the items and then compare it to what we actually made. So really cool. Like I said, cool program. Hopefully this helps you guys with your taxes or just seeing what you sold uh, to compare your last year's sales to the prior year. Um, that's even really cool to be able to do. So, all right, guys, have a great day. And we'll talk to you soon.